Kind of take us through what was going through your head when you found out that A, you had to shave your head, because that'd be hard for anyone. And then how was it after that and playing the role? That's ridiculous. I have pictures to prove you know, my, my emotions going through it because during, I have video of it actually. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't stoked. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't thrilled to have my head shaved. I had a good, I had a good head of hair. And then all of a sudden it was just, and then bicked it all the way down. Um, so it was pretty intense. It was a new experience for me, but I got used to it. It was cold, um, but it was nice. I didn't have to do anything. I just woke up and, you know, rubbed some shampoo and rinsed it off immediately and it was done. What was the reaction of your family and friends when they saw you? Mom didn't like it. Mom was like, oh my baby, oh my God, my baby's hair. My friends were all laughing at me saying I look stupid. My Aww. sister's making fun of me. No, oh, but, I didn't know you had so much trouble with this. I'm it's, sorry. It's not, it's not that bad. You know what, your friends will pick on you and they're like, oh man, you look like Mr. Clean, you look like a basketball, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Sisters. They give you a hard time regardless. They have to give me a hard time. Aww. If they didn't give me a hard time, then it wouldn't have been, you know. Oh, I, I thought you're I still cute real. with bald head. Thank you. At least I have uh, one compliment. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Not uh, enough to do it again. But yeah. <laughs> for those who are living under a rock, tell us about Zach and Mia. Zach, Mia. Next question. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so I see how this is gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, Zach and Mia is based off of a book, and basically it's about two kids that um, have cancer, and they're both dealing it dealing with it in completely different ways and uh we end up kind of falling for each other yeah through but there it's a it's rocky road yeah not the ice cream even though we kind of indulge in some ice cream in one of the episodes without giving away too many spoilers we are two kids um yeah that like she said we kind of have this connection through cancer which sounds bad but uh it ends up being good it ends up being a good thing um yeah i play zach Meyer. she plays mia phillips and that's that's it right day what, what type of research did you guys have to do before playing your parts as cancer patients? We, <clears throat> I speak for both of us on this one. We, we went to a, a, a hospital and we met with cancer patients and cancer survivors mm -hmm. and you know, people that had stories of, uh, revolving around cancer. It was really good to you know, get to know exactly what they were going through to get a better idea of what we can portray. You know, really, we didn't yeah. want to, you don't want to fake anything or sugarcoat anything. So we met with them and made sure we were doing it justice. And I thought it was cool too because we asked them everything. Like I was actually really shocked sitting in the hospital because I thought we were just gonna ask them a few like basic questions. But like Jason especially, we were asking everything yeah. toward Going like mm -hmm. like what what was it like finding out? What did you say? What did your mom say? How is it like, you know, losing friends in the outside world? Or like how is it being stuck in a hospital? Do you get bored? Like we don't think about the little things. And it was just so eye-opening to really hear the ins and outs and like the nurses become your best friends. And like, yeah, even yeah. after cancer, like what then? You go home and then what? It's like so much. So it was really cool. I was really glad that we got to do that for It was research. probably very enlightening for the two of you also. I mean, as you said, you learned yeah. so much that you just never thought about. Yeah. yeah. What's the one thing that stood out to you the most when you were researching this that you never even thought about it when you took on this role? There was one thing that it, it kind of stood out a little bit. We, you know, we, we go through this cancer thing and you either go through 100 days of protective isolation or you, you know, you go through chemo and it's all done, it's all, you know, said and done. But it's not that easy. You still have to wear this chemo port. You mm -hmm. have to wear this chemo port that has wires hanging out where you have to, mm -hmm. you know, inject your medicines or inject your, you know, your fluids or whatever. And you have to wear that for up to like, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly how long. Um, it's a few but yeah, it's a few months, even after you're done. 